Hey everybody, it's Emily. Um, in this video, I have gotten a lot of requests um, to show you guys how to have um, perfectly defined eyebrows, which is great. I'm glad that people um, appreciate the importance of having beautiful brows. I tell my clients all of the time how important it is because it really is something that frames your face. Um, it is the frame of your face, and if you have beautiful makeup, but your eyes aren't uh, well kept and trimmed and shaped and sculpted, then you just really aren't going to be doing yourself justice. So in this video, um, I'm not actually going to be doing any waxing or shaping, um, but I am going to show you how to fill in your brows to get that beautiful defined sculpted look. So the first thing that you want to do is I always take um, the handle of one of my brushes and you want to just place it on the side of your nose. And where it ends up is where you want your eyebrow to begin. And then just tilt it this way. And where it crosses your iris is where you want your arch to be. And then when you keep tilting it, right to the corner of your eye is where you want your eyebrow to end. So um, the last time I got my brows waxed, they came out a little bit thinner than I normally like. So I am going to fill them in a little bit more than I normally would. In the first place that I'm going to start is I'm going to use a brow pencil. I like to start by using a pencil to simply um, outline my brow. And so for this, let me zoom in a little bit. The pencil that I'm going to be using is um, a Chanel brow pencil in soft brown. And this works for pretty much everybody. And I like to start on the inner part of the brow and just very with really light little strokes work your way to the arch and just kind of very very lightly fill that in again with tiny little strokes that's what's going to create um, the illusion of having those hairs and then up to my arch and I'm going to go back over it with brow powder to give my arch more definition. And then I'm going to pull it out to the end and create a nice little sharp tip. And then I'm going to do the same on the top to create a nice, beautifully defined arch there. And again, little, little teeny tiny strokes. Okay, so you can already see the difference that that made. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brow powder by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in Ash Blonde, which works for everybody. Well, not everybody, but unless you have really dark brown to black hair, it's going to work on most everybody. Um, and it has two different colors. I'm going to start with the lighter of the two, and I'm just going to go right back over what I already did and add a little bit more color. Again, just following that line that I already made with little strokes. And then once I get to my arch, I'm going to go to the darker color because again, I like a really nicely defined arch. Um, I don't have a really strong arch in my brow naturally. And especially when your face is real heart-shaped or round like mine, when you have a nicely defined arch, it helps to just make your face look a little bit slimmer, which is always great. So you can see the huge, huge difference that that made for my eyes. So then I'm going to do this side, and I'm going to start by brushing them up and out. And then I'm going to take my pencil. Now this one, my hairs, for some reason on this side, just grow a lot more sparse than the other side, which I think is pretty typical. I see that a lot. So again, we're just going to kind of outline things. Get a nice arch going and then just nice light little strokes to bring it out on the edge and then we're going to do the top 
In this side, I really just don't have any hairs right here, so I have to be really careful when I'm filling it in to get it to look nicely defined and natural. Okay, so then I'm going to take my powder. And you can see that the powder just really helps to give it a beautiful, soft look. Sometimes um, if you aren't careful with pencils, if you're not a person who is used to filling in your eyebrows, it can be easy sometimes to get that drawn on look, which is just never good. And so if you put powder over the top, it's really going to help to blend and soften. Then again, I just bring it straight down, give it a nice little sharp corner to it there. And I think we're good. And then the last step that I like to do, I'm going to, there we go. That's better. And um, the last step that I like to do is I take um, a cream pencil and I just run it right underneath where the color is up to the arch. And what this is going to do is it's, it's just going to make it look even more defined. The more definition you can have, the better. And I like doing the same thing on the top. Okay, right up into the arch and then down. And you don't want, obviously, to see a white line. So after you draw it on there, just blend it with your fingertip a little bit, like so. This is looking really good. So even if you do over pluck or over wax, you can always go back and fix it up a little bit. Just gonna pull these hairs up a little bit more. Okay, so let me pull out so you guys can see the full result. So again, you can see what a difference it makes to have beautifully sculpted and well-defined eyebrows. So I hope that you were able to pick up a few new tricks. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave a comment. Thanks for watching.